chatting now with Sally Bywater, our KNT netball correspondent. Sally, how are you going today? I'm very well, thank you. That's good. Good to hear. Did you have fun at the netball over the weekend? It was a great weekend to get out there and about nice weather, great games and great atmosphere and crowds. So it was a good weekend. Absolutely. It was a cracking weekend for it weather-wise. So let's get into some results in our first game here. Kybe Bolite at home went down by just five goals to Lucendale. Looks like that one was a bit of a thriller. Yeah, nice, great game here. So Kybe obviously having that one goal win in the thriller last week and coming up against Lucendale, who had that loss against Keith. We thought they'd bounce back this week and that's what they did. So a huge second quarter by Kybe and they were six goals up at half time, but a huge um, last quarter from Lucendale where they won, went up by eight to win by five. So a great all-round effort by both teams. There's a lot of positional changes and a great physical game. So it was great to see. And yeah, um, 18 goals in a, half, a quarter of netball by both sides was great to see. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like a real thriller, very close yeah. finish. And yeah, a lot, lot going on through the guts of the game, obviously. So well done to Lucendale taking home the chocolates there. And on to our next game, Border Districts 52 defeated Kingston 37. Yeah, and this also was a nice close game up until halftime. Kingston actually had to lead by one at halftime, which was fantastic to see. So in the seesawing game, they went down the third quarter, Border District came back and won that quarter 19 to 5. So that really set up that win for them. And Kingston, yeah, I think that was a great effort by them. They were close all game to only go down by 15, but that's a real um, great effort by them. Yeah, Kingston had the 32-goal loss, I think it was, last week. Mm -hmm. So it looks like they've already improved from week one to week two. Yes, absolutely. And they've got a lot of young girls in here that haven't played A-grade netball. So to get that exposure and come up and put up a great effort is great for our league. Absolutely, and Border Districts staying undefeated with that win, 2-0. and And on to our next game, Panola 49 defeated Narracourt 41. So Panola, top of the table with that win? Absolutely, they had a great game here. And again, this was a really close game all throughout. So Panola won, were up by one at half time and then, yeah, just went up by seven in that last half. So they came back in that second half and really won. But Narracourt, again, they've got a different line-up this year as well and really putting it up to... Um, Panola, who I think will be one of those top teams this year. And Mandala in their first game of the season, getting the win, a very tight one, 36-33 over Bordertown, who are still searching for their first win, but they've looked very competitive in their first two games. They have, definitely. They've only yeah, lost their first few games by three or four, so Mandala in their first hit out, quite, it took them a little bit to get into the game, so they were down by five, well, they were four at half time, but Really came back in the second half. A great defensive game all over the court by both of these sides. And it was just going to be who finished off the better in the end, which happened to Mandala in this game. Very good. And Mandala next week will be taking on Keith, who are fresh off the bye this week. How do you see that game going? Yeah, it's been a different lineup this week. Um, Mandala and Keith have got a ladies' day out there this Saturday. So they're actually playing their game at half past 10 Saturday morning. So this will be a nice, fresh and early start for both of these sides. But... I think Keith coming off that bye weekend and Mandela having that one of their... I think Keith will get the win, but I think it'll be a great game and it'll be good to see some juniors out there to be able to watch this game. Yeah, that sounds great. Sounds like a good initiative there, Mandela hosting that one. And on to our next game, Narracourt hosting Kingston. So both Narracourt and Kingston looking for their first win and that one should be a nice close contest. I think it will be. Narracourt, yeah, probably been quite close in both their games so far and they'll be searching for that first win of the season and Kingston have been competitive. So I think it'll be a great game. I'd like to see a great four quarter effort by both sides. I think Narracourt will get the win, but Kingston will put it right up to them. And Lucendale taking on Bordertown, that one in Lucendale. So Lucendale, one win, one loss, and Bordertown searching for their first win. They are, and I know it's a big trip down there to Lucendale for the Bordertown girls, but they'll be raring to go. They've had two close games under their belt. They want to keep building on those efforts. And Lucendale had that good win last week. I think they'll build on that as well. So I think it'll be a great game, and Lucendale just edging Bordertown in the win. And Border Districts will be taking on Kybe Bolite, who both put on a strong performance in round two by the sounds of things. So that one should be a good game as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's like, um, probably a match of the round between these two sides. They had a ripper of a prelim final last year um, before they got into that grand final. Borders just won that one with Kybe playing a great first half and just not um, executing in the second. So I think they'll probably want to redeem those efforts. They'll be at home this week, so I think Kyle will be in a close one. 
And Panola have the bye for round three. They'll be back in action in round four, taking on Border Districts, but a good week off for them this week. And we'll just quickly have a look at the A Reserve competition. Kybe Bolite, 43, Lucendale Reserves, 39 in the first game of this round. Again, another close game here, which was fantastic to see between these two sides. So Kybe had the two-goal edge at half time and just doubled that for the second half. So a fantastic effort here by both clubs. I really like to see these close games. and The depth in these clubs is fantastic. And the Keith Reserves got a good win over Padthaway, 54 to 31. They did have a good win. It was great to see them get some youngsters on the court for this game as well, who are under age players and to expose that. And by the way, great effort here by them. 31 goals is no mean feat. So against Keith, who the last year's Premier, so a great game here by them. And Border Districts 31 went down to the Kingston Reserves 56. So a good win for Kingston there. And am I right in saying that's their first win for the season across A and A Reserves? It is, yes. So it is fantastic to see. And a really strong win. So 25 goal winners here against Port of Districts. They would have been so proud of this effort and well done to them. And that's, yeah, obviously a great win. Yeah, very good win. And no doubt some of the girls in the A reserves there making their case for a spot in the A grade team. And Panola 63 defeated Narracourt 50. Yeah, I thought this was a, um, a, quite a good game as well. So Panola, I think, is a benchmark in the senior team this year. So Narracourt, to get 50 goals and lose, you know, that's a bit disappointing to them, but they can get those goals on the board and again just one or two one they started off the quarter first quarter 21 10 down so they were 11 goals down by quarter time so it was quite even after that and in the last game of the round border town reserves heading to the mandala showgrounds and coming away with a three goal win 50 to 47 yeah another great close game here by these two clubs so both the ANA reserves games only three goals in it which was great to see border town held a nice nine goal lead at half time so mandala really got back into that game and made it a close one which was great to see. Lots of tight games across the A and the A Reserve and I'm sure we'll have plenty more tight games this weekend. The competition's really heating up in the KNT Netball Association. Sally, thank you so much for joining us again and giving us a wrap of everything going on and we look forward to catching up again next week. Sounds great. Thank you very much.